In this video, we're going to be using Figma and components with component properties to create an alert component with four types. And that is error alert, warning alert, info alert, and success alert. You'll be then able to easily pick which type you'd like to display in your Figma prototypes. And you'll be also able to easily change the contents of this uh, component of this alert. I also have an announcement to make. You can now submit your designs by uploading them through this form, link is in the description, that I then will be using in my upcoming videos to analyze, to give feedback on, or maybe even redesign these if you're interested. So definitely go and check that out. I'll be excited to see what you've designed. Now let's get started with the video. So first I'm gonna use the text tool by pressing T and typing in, this is an alert. I'm gonna also zoom in by pressing Command zero and then Command two to switch over to um, the selected element. So this text object says, this is an alert. I'm gonna reduce the size to about 16 and we're gonna leave this at Avenir Next Demi Bolt. We're gonna also use the frame tool by pressing F to create a frame that will be approximately 24 by 24 pixels. We're gonna name this icon and we're gonna turn this icon frame to a component and then we will add a variant and we will do this two more times. So that's an icon component with four variants in total. This first variant is gonna be called error. The second one will be warning, third one will be info, and the fourth one will be success. I'm then gonna go over to assets to search for this icon component, and I'm gonna click and drag that right here, right next to this text. I'm gonna select these two and then press Shift A to add this to an auto layout. I'm gonna rename this auto layout by pressing Command R to alert window. I'm gonna add some padding, horizontal, and vertical over here and also i'm gonna add a background let's make it gray for now we will change this and let's just come up with these values over here that look nice so i think we could go for 16 16 with spacing and with horizontal and vertical padding so this is the real size this is 100 percent we're gonna also make this around it these corners are gonna be around it let's go for like six or seven six maybe yeah and i'm gonna select the text tool and go over here to horizontal resizing and set this to fill container the reason we do this is this if we resize this the text is responsive. But we also don't want this icon to move to the bottom side, to the bottom of this whole component, which means we're gonna have to edit the auto layout right here by setting the top left alignment. Now, this is the behavior we would like to see. I'm gonna type in, this is an error alert, check it out. And I will actually set this to black, the background, and the transparency will be 24. Now, I will select this and turn that into a component as well by clicking here and then creating three more variants. So this is gonna be error. This is gonna be, again, warning. So this it will reflect this uh, logic, right? Info, and we're gonna also rename this property to type or let's say alert type here as well icon alert type now we need to actually go over here to this icon right here in the second the second variant and set this to warning same with the third but info and the last one finally success why are we doing this that is very simple because now if we create these icons you can see that the first variant that will say error. It's gonna be reflected right here, right? So whatever we do here, it's reflected right over here. And similar with the remaining icon variants. So that's the reason why we are doing this. There's also one thing we need to change and that's colors. So for each type of the alert window, you wanna have different color. So I'm gonna also change the words, the wording right here. So this is gonna be warning, info, and then success. And if we now select this 
first variant and go to selection colors, we can easily choose the black color and make that like dark red, right? We're also gonna go for this color and we're gonna set that to red as well. And actually we're gonna change the font weight to medium. With the warning alert, we're gonna go for yellow. I'm gonna do something similar. So this is what I have in mind. With the background, that's gonna be lighter, but also yellow. Like this maybe, change the hue, do this. Info, that's gonna be neutral. So let's go for blue, same with the background. And finally, the success one will be green, as in everything is all right. Everything turned out successfully. So you can see that this alert window is working with color psychology as well where uh, the red color is supposed to symbolize something you need to immediately look at to grasp your attention, whereas the green one is symbolizing something peaceful, let's say, something that is, that is good or positive. I'm gonna also change the backgrounds a little bit to make them more subtle. And now what we actually need to do is the icons. So for an error alert, we're gonna do an exclamation point, turn that to outlines, change the size, and it's gonna be, gonna be red, really contrasting red, right? We're gonna also hide the backgrounds of these. And let's just add a circle This, we're gonna actually have to replace this with an ellipse, a tiny ellipse, because the exclamation point is being really deformed. So I'm just gonna use an ellipse like this and then a rectangle, right? Also red, this is our icon. Well, this looks strange, so let's let's edit that. Maybe two pixels, maybe center these. So Figma is forcing us to make this pixel perfect, which we're gonna do, but we're gonna play around with this. Yeah, I think this works, this is all right. Maybe bigger spacing, this works. Also the warning alert, that's gonna be a polygon, a triangle, and I'm gonna command E to flatten, and there's gonna be an outline, and the outline is gonna be yellow. We're gonna soften these edges a little bit, remove this ellipse, center this, and kind of position this so that it feels right. I'm gonna use the exclamation point from the previous icon, change the size and also change the color of this. So we have two icons now, error alert and warning alert. Info, that will be actually very simple. Let me just take this icon, copy that, select this variant, paste it and flip it vertically. Now you have an info icon. I will also change the color to blue. So this is an info alert now. And with the success alert, I think we could do like circle with check mark where we're gonna remove this side, remove this side. So I pressed enter, then selected this side and pressed delete or backspace. And we're gonna use the pen tool to create a check mark like this. That's gonna be stronger. And also this thing, this whole thing, we're gonna extend that to edges this similarly and we're gonna change all of these colors to, to green. This icon is gonna be green. Also, we can't forget about this outer circle, and here we go. Also, I think actually the circle could be done, let me just duplicate this and rotate this a little bit, like this. So I duplicated the ellipse cutout, and then just did this, and maybe this one again, to make it you know, closer, to close these spaces a little bit. And yeah, this is it. So let me just tell you where I took this from. I used a website called mui.com. This is the URL. Uh, they have precisely this design on their website. So I just took their design. Definitely go check out that website. It's Google Material UI converted to React. It's super useful and I might use use their library of components as an inspiration for tutorials in the future. So we created these alerts in Figma. Now let's see how it works. Practice, I'm gonna use an instance of this and you can see that we have this nice little window right here. We can resize and also we can switch the warning right? or the alert type. So I can create error, warning, info, success. What we're gonna do now is actually select all of these text layers, then go over here to content 
and click this create text property icon. This property, this component property is going to be called text and the default value will be insert text here, right? Create. And what this does is when you are working with the component instance, you get these two windows. So you get the alert type as a drop down menu and you get also a text window where you can edit the text, right? Very simple to use, very useful. You can also, right? So this is very useful. If you'd like to learn more about component properties, go and check out my channel. I did a video on this, which is gonna show you the final result, which is an alert window that you can change the type off. So you get error, warning, info, and success. And you can also change text, change the text. And that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments if there is anything unclear and I will see you in the next one.